to ensure it's an occasion to remember. Yes, in Hyde Park in central London, the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment is going through its final rehearsals. Around 150 soldiers and horses practising their manoeuvres. They want, obviously, to be perfect when the world is watching. Let's go once again to Caroline Wyatt, who's uh, watching all of those preparations for us. Caroline, over to you. An incredible amount of work going on here. You will just hear the horses, which are behind us at the moment, coming back. They've been exercised this morning. Some people have been up since six, mucking out the stables. Also, a lot of polishing of kit going on. All of this with really not that long to go before the big day itself. And to talk about some of those preparations, I'm joined here by the Regimental Corporal Major, Warren Brown. Thank you for letting us be here today. How much preparation goes on ahead of a ceremonial occasion like this? Well, we start with uh, what we call our Major General's Parade, uh, which is uh, four rehearsals, finishing off with the Major General himself inspecting the regiment, um, making sure that we're to the correct standard to uh, escort Her Majesty and, uh, and the Prince. And there's an awful lot of hours involved, a lot of polishing kit and a lot of looking after the horses. Yes, it is. Um, no, a normal day would consist of getting up at six in the morning, uh, uh, mucking horses out, uh, exercising horses, then feeding them, then feeding the men, uh, then coming back down, cleaning tack. And if you're on Queen's Lifeguard as well, uh, preparing for Queen's Lifeguard. So it, it, it can be quite touching, 53-hour week maybe for, for a trooper. We met you out in Afghanistan last year. You've served in Afghanistan before that and in Iraq, and now you're doing this job. I mean, how, does, how do the two compare? Are they just two different universes? They are, but uh, essentially this place lays a good basis for good soldiering on operations because guys know how to administrate themselves, they know how to work hard. Um, it brings a lot more professionalism out, out in operations, what's needed. When your life's in danger, men, of their kit and equipment is, is ready to go. And which makes you more nervous? Um, well, both, to be honest. Uh, Horses are unpredictable, uh, as the Taliban is unpredictable. Uh, and, um, yeah, I can't say that I wasn't nervous in Afghanistan, because I was, I'd be lying. And I'm nervous sometimes when I ride a horse. But, uh, obviously, your training and your commissary uh, neglects that, and, and you, you become a good soldier and a good horseman. Well, best of luck on the day, and we will be seeing a bit more of the preparations as the day goes by, but incredible attention to detail here, literally from the polishing of belts and gloves and buckles to the way that the horses are cared for, so that everything is perfect on the day itself. Caroline, thanks very much indeed. Caroline Wyatt there. Business time.